For Yellow Week, our endangered animal is the leopard. Leopards are native to many countries in Sub-Saharan Africa and Western and Southern Asia. There are nine different breeds of leopard, from the Javan leopard in Indonesia to the Amur leopard of Eastern China, both of whom are considered critically endangered. Leopards closely resemble jaguars, another big cat native to Southern and Central America, or the cheetah, who's also native to Africa and Southwest Asia. Though the three big cats all look similar, they have slightly different builds and sizes. However, to tell them apart the easy way, all you need to do is look at their spots. Cheetah spots are solid, like the spots on a dog. Jaguars and leopards, on the other hand, have what are known as rosettes. These are groupings of spots, which sort of resemble flowers. Jaguar rosettes are bigger, because they have spots on the inside as well while leopard rosettes are smaller, with nothing inside. Leopards use their rosettes and their yellowy fur to hide themselves while they hunt for prey, but it's getting harder and harder as much of their habitat is taken over. In 2007, less than 30 Amur leopards lived in the wild, and it was considered one of the rarest cats on Earth. However, thanks to conservation efforts, that number is now closer to 90, with twice as many living in zoos around the world. The splatter painting craft can get a bit messy, so wear a painting shirt or an apron and try to lay newspaper or a drop cloth down on your painting surface so you don't make a mess. Also be advised that you don't want to do this craft in an area that's windy, drafty, or where a fan can blow on the canvas. Start by assembling your canvas. Lay one piece of black construction paper down on your surface. I taped mine down to make sure it wouldn't move. Then find your bag of leopard rosette stencils. There's a lot of these, but they're small, so try not to lose any. One by one, lay your rosettes out on your canvas. Your rosettes are also made of black construction paper, so they might be a bit difficult to see. Lay them all out in whatever pattern you like. Each and every splatter painting will be different, because each and every leopard has a different pattern of rosettes. You can even use the smaller pieces to create your own rosettes. You can look at these pictures of leopards for inspiration. We can't tape any of these rosettes down or the painting won't work, so be very careful not to blow on your canvas. When all your rosettes have been laid out, it's time to get painting. Dip just the bristles of your toothbrush into the yellow paint. Holding the toothbrush over your canvas with the head pointing down, brush a finger across the bristles. This will flick the bristles and the paint will flick off, splattering onto your canvas. You might find different ways of splattering the paint is easier for you. Maybe you prefer to use your thumb or your first finger. Maybe it's easier to flick forwards or backwards. Maybe you like getting more paint on your bristles or less. Experiment and find out what's more comfortable for you. Just be sure to aim for your canvas. You only have so much paint and you don't want to waste any. After a while, you'll see the black canvas start to look more and more yellow. You don't want a solid yellow. The splatter effect kind of looks like leopard's fur. When you've finished, let your canvas dry completely. Splattered paint takes less time to dry than brushed paint, so it shouldn't take very long. Once it's dry, carefully remove each and every one of your stencils. You'll see the untouched black canvas underneath, in a perfect leopard pattern. You can repeat this craft on your extra black canvas if you'd like. 